my name is dr deepak kumar devi i am assistant professor in department of zoology dab college kanpur today i will discuss about general characters of protozoans and uh, you know that uh, proto means first and zoons means animals so it means that first animal came first on the earth these were reported as unicellular protist by heckel because uh, heckel coined the term protista that is ancestor of all multicellular eukaryotic organisms acting as a connecting link between the prokaryotic kingdom that is monera and multicellular organisms and goldfuss 1817 coined the term protozoa seabold established the unicellular nature of protozoans and one of the interesting thing is that leeuwenhoek saw for the first time these animal cules we can define these very interesting animals as these are microscopic acellular animal cules without tissue and organs having one or more nuclei but no nucleus ever interchange of a specialized part of cytoplasm protozoans are considered as much closer to green algae um it is the first group with protoplasmic or subcellular level of body organization group protozoa is the third largest group that is third largest phylum with 50000 species out of these 50000 species 20000 species are extinct and 30000 are living uh small the size if you say size so these are small usually microscopic animal cule simplest and most primitive of all the animals so no physiological division of labor is there and uh, they were initially defined as unicellular animals but now referred to as acellular and whether they are acellular or unicellular regarding this there are two theories unicellular concept or flagellate colonial theory according to this theory that is it uh, is based on the cell theory so according to the cell theory given by swain and sliden all plants and animals are made up of cells as unit as you know if we define the cell as a unit of animal body then we use unicellular means protozoans consist of a single cell according to this body of a free living protozoan is morphologically equivalent to a single cell of a metazoan body scientist supporting this theory claim that metazoan evolved by the aggregation of separate unicellular or protozoan individual to form a multicellular colony so these are all you know points concerned with the colonial theory or unicellular concept now next theory is essential theory and according to this that if we consider the animal body 
can be divided into units that is cells then the protozoans are acellular or non cellular animals whose body is not divisible in the cells due to this a single cell protozoan body is a complete animal performing all the vital activities of life right this theory actually was uh, you know advocated by dobell so according to this essential theory uh, structurally a protozoan cell can be compared with an individual cell of the metazoan body but physiologically it is equivalent to the whole metazoan body right dobell 1911 he first of all used the term e cellular and he referred the protozoan as a cellular or non cellular rather than unicellular because all the activities of life such as respiration locomotion excretion these are all carried out within the protozoan body right protozoans are a solitary or colonial they may be solitary or colonial their body may be naked such as amoeba and or you can say sir it is uh, it may be surrounded by non rigid pellicle uh, some secretes cells or exoskeleton for example foraminiferans these uh, are free living commensal mutualistic or parasitic ectoparasitic ectoparasites as well as endoparasites locomotion locomotion you know occurs by pseudopodia in amoebic form that is cycodyna flagella mystigophora ciliata in where cilia are present and in parasitic form these are all locomotory organelles are absent such as sporo so myonemes fibers are also present in protozoans they help in locomotion and these are reported in mystigophora and sporozoa uh, they may be monomorphic that is single nucleus is present or dimorphic that is two nuclei are there nutrition is holozoic that is animal like holophytic meaning plant like uh, saprozoic or parasitic that is they get uh, soluble organic material so this is all about nutrition now come to digestion digestion is intracellular that is within the food vacuole in the presence of lysosomal enzyme so that digestion occurs within the body of the animal because uh, body is you know uh, consist of a single you know it may be a cellular or unicellular now uh, when digestion occur then cytoplasmic streaming distribution take place throughout the continuous protoplasmic mass of the organism and this process is known as cyclosis one of the characteristic feature of protozoan respiration and excretion take place by general body surface or through the contractile vacuole and the uh, role of uh, contractile vacuole is mainly osmo regulation come to the reproduction it uh, may be of sexual as well as asexual type asexual uh, reproduction occurs by binary fission or multiple fission budding cyst formation and sexual reproduction through the conjugation process most of the protozoa they are free living some may be uh, aquatic that is in fresh water as well as in marine water some occurs in soil and uh, a uh, few uh, protozoans are reported in feces for example copromonas parasitic protozoans uh, are ectoparasite as well as endoparasite there are few interesting parasite 
protozoans, ectoparasite such as Corona, Hydra amoeba. Corona and Hydra amoeba, these are parasitic on Hydra hydrozena. Right? This is a cylindrate. So it is parasitic on Hydra. Odinium, it is parasitic on Oikoplura, which is uh, an uh, urochordate, that is, you know, a protochordate. Ichthyothyreus multifilis, it is the ectoparasite of freshwater fish. And Leishmania tropica, it is the ectoparasite of man. It is found in the skin, it causes oriental sore. Endoparasites which occurs inside the body of the host these are plasmodium and amoeba trypanosoma etc so this is all about the general character of protozoa uh, if you you know the, if these this topic is very interesting then please like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get more videos thank you thank you very much